We've come all this way for for that. Yeah, I can only so I can only sorry. I do apologise. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a very wet start and the return of an idiot's go car shopping. Now usually, this Peugeot's got an alarm on. Now usually this is an episode where we go to a car dealership and actually, well, waste salesman's time basically, thank you. Um, we waste salesman's time because we don't really know what we're looking for. Ah, oh, anyway, chief idiot Tom Exton, TGE, on social media has actually bought a car today and has made a huge hype about it and I have no idea what it is he hasn't told any of us so we are now en route to Manchester to find out what it is and take delivery of his new car could that be it no so I've now regrouped with the idiots as you can see behind me I met them inside the building and now we're jumping in not only this car Sam's F-Type is over there, which I'll show you in a little bit. But first, let's have a look at this beautiful blue that is on the M3. Apparently, this is the only BMW M3 in the UK in this colour. And it is owned by Mark from Driven Leasing. You may remember when I had the BMW X5 and the Mini Cooper SD. This is his own car. And Sam's car is over here. Introduce yourself. Hello. Hi. And here is Sam's Type R. Well, project STG. <laughs> and we've got the front splitter, which actually makes a huge difference. We've got this really cool stripe here. Tire writing, That's which I refuse not to. Shut up. I refuse not to have the tire writing because I didn't think it would look good on my car, but it actually looks good on this car. And then round the back, we've got an aggressive spoiler. <laughs> Did you do something to the exhaust? <laughs> it sounds louder. Have you done anything to no, the exhaust yet? No, I'm not going to do this very good normal stock. I think you need it louder. Don't I reckon, don't I reckon. Comment below if you think Sam's car needs to be louder. Idiots, roll out. So if you follow me on Twitter, or Instagram, you may have seen that I hurt my neck at the weekend on a trampoline, so the doctors have prescribed me to wear a neck, they haven't really. I just thought that I'd bring it along to keep my neck comfortable as we roll out of the service stations and hit the motorway up towards Manchester. And we are in Sam's Jaguar, again. Yeah. But it looks exactly the same That's from it. the inside. That's it. The well, wing mirrors are different. Are they? Yeah, yeah they're not black. Did you, oh yeah. Oh, and you, and you can see the um, the white circle there. Where? On this one, you oh. can see the white circle. Oh yeah, I can, oh, I can just see mine. Well. Sam was basically complaining that he can't see any of his modifications that he's done to the car, but I, I feel like there's some bits and pieces that are different. There's a red stitching different here. No, <laughs> it's, it's all the same Is inside. It? I thought you had gold seat belts. Did you wrap? Did you wrap no, these? No, the seatbelts were... Everything inside is the same. The only modification you can see is I can see the wing in my wing mirror, my rear view mirror, and the wing mirrors are black. Oh, okay. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Sam, 50 mile an average speed checks. Didn't you want to get a move on after lunch? <laughs> We're just stuck. I'm furious. I can imagine. It's like the UK is just. Holy! And also, how long is this going to go on for? We have no idea. It could go on for three years. We have not been notified yet. One thing that I'm slightly worried about, and something that I don't think TGE actually thought about at all, being the idiot that he is, is he's invited me and Sam along to come and film his car collection video, which he's been hyping up for however long. 
And the one thing he hasn't thought about is the lighting in November in the UK disappears at around 2 p.m. What is the time now? It's 2.39. 2.39 and the light is definitely going. We've got everyone got their headlights on. Have you got your headlights on, Mr. Yep. Safety? Yeah. So, the, by the time that we arrive in Manchester, it is going to be pitch black. And my cameras don't work in the dark, so my video needs to end in about two minutes. <laughs> so you'll be signing off. Signing off. So, um, tune in for part two. <laughs> So, lovely update for you, we're in gridlock traffic. I actually think this is the first, first clip where you can probably see the colour of that BMW in quite good light at night time, but it is cool, very cool colour. Let's get the window down. <laughs> Don't know why it's doing this, but it's a cool, it's a cool look. Citroen, could it be? <laughs> That's the one. He's getting a Citroen Cactus. Oh, I do like them. You can put a bike on the roof. Does. I feel like we're getting close. Look at these, look at these cars. DS3s. Really, really cool cars, actually. Here we go. I think we found something. Don't know what. Uh-oh. Do not go. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know whether that was going to shut or not. <laughs> so where the hell are we? What are we doing? Visitor car parking reception. Oh, hold on a minute. I can see a bus at the end with the number plate TGE. We've come all this way for, for that. Yeah, I can only so I can only sorry. I do apologise. I've ever seen to collect one car. One car, Collect one car. Yeah, one yeah, car. Yeah. Like coming in this car. The best entrance I've ever seen. Yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> so we've got an A45 here, we've got an AMG GT, we've got an M3, we've got the F-Type, and... It's nearly, it's nearly 11 o'clock, so uh, probably shouldn't be doing that because it's illegal. But here we go. This is Tom's new car. It's actually grey, but I'm not sure whether you can see that or not because the lighting is so horrendous. Well, I tell you what, this is this is the perfect car for central London. You know that. Yeah, it's perfect. It's. You can drive up and downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tom checking it out with a torch on his iPhone. <laughs> yeah. How does it handle? Is yeah, it good? It handles good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my torch to show you what this car looks like if we were in the daylight. That's what it looks like in the day. Typical Tom, no organisation whatsoever. Let's go and pick the car up. We'll leave at one o'clock and it takes us four hours to get up here and then we'll pick it up and it's pitch black. <laughs> How do you open this thing? Ah, like this. Ah, oh, there we go. So this is the interior of Tom's new car, which is a G-Wagon, a G63 AMG. Sam is vlogging because that's the only place where you can get lighting. It's got a cage in the back. Go on, can you, can you do a quick, can we do a in, quick interior tour, go on. Um, got a handle here for holding on to. You got a glove box, uh, windows, door handle. I don't know what that is, uh, seats. And the, oh, you've got seats, oh nice. And some really useful storage as well, that's my favourite favorite part of the car. Is it? Yeah, it's really nice that. Nice. Nice closing mechanism. That's pretty much about it. I think that what about this? Well. What about you, you've forgotten this? Oh yeah, you, you um, steer it, that's the rudder. Okay. <laughs> um, but um, I actually want to go in this. I really want to go in this. Very, very nice car. Woohoo! 
That's got some nice crackles to it. I like it. I've come for a quick blast in the AMG GT just to, just to feel it, I think. We're waiting for all of the other cars. Slide. Tom's obviously behind the wheel, of course. And we're waiting for all of the cars to leave. So now, to pick up one car, we are a one, two, three, four, five, six car convoy to pick up one car. That's um, why this series is called Idiots Go Car Shopping. <laughs> We've arrived at Polish and Glow to get some pictures and there you go, there is Tom's G-Wagon in the light for the first time. <laughs> he doesn't know how to drive it. <laughs> We are now rolling out. We've got the Cayman GT4, we've got the F-Type, we've got the A45, we have got the AMG GTS Edition 1 Edition, which I am now falling in love with. And now Tom. Oh. <sighs> so here we go. Here we go, in the G-Wagon. This is my first time I've ever been in the G-Wagon. It's all very exciting, it's my second time. This is your second time? The first time I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that about this car. Why do I plug that in? Uh, maybe it doesn't have it, actually. I'm sure it will. Oh, we've got, some, we've got some revs. Small the, look how small the oh, no. handbrake is. I can only apologise for everything, to be honest. Jesus, no, that is... Do, do the, oh no, that one's slightly more comfortable. This one, you have to smear your hand up against the window to, uh, when you put it up, uh, it interferes with your hand. Oh yeah. It's good, but I don't know. Cars are leaving. Well, I think we're being queued out by Polish and Glow. And there we have it, my first experience with Polish and Go, my first experience with a G-Wagon. <laughs> Give it a wave. The guys at Polish and Glow are loving it. We are now heading out, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching before we get dark. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for a competition on Supercars of London. So make sure that you have clicked the subscribe button and given it a like. Thank you for watching, Tom, say goodbye in the pitch black. Goodbye in the pitch black. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>